In this problem, we're told an object starts from rest at time t equals 0 seconds and moves in the positive x direction with constant acceleration. The object travels 12 meters from the time t equals 1 second to time t equals 2 seconds. What is the acceleration of the object? And so we're given a bunch of options here. And so the way we're going to solve this formula is by using one of the kinematic uh, equations. And so it's going to be this one right here, delta x equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half at squared. And so the way we're going to do this is by understanding how this works. So basically, when we plug in a time value into this, what it's going to do is give us the distance it travels uh, during that time, right? So if you imagine like a number line right here, right? So what I'm going to do is label 1 here, 2 here, and then it doesn't really matter beyond it. But essentially, imagine what happens. So when we plug in t equals 1 in this equation, what it does is give us the distance it travels here, right? So it's going to give us how far it travels here if we plug in 1. And so when we plug in 2, it's going to give us the distance it travels here. And so think about what they give us. They give us the distance it travels, right, between this time and this time, right? And so the way we're going to solve it is by plugging in t equals 2, right, which is this whole distance, and then plugging t equals 1, which is this distance, right? And if we subtract them, we're going to be taking the whole distance minus this distance, and what's that going to give us? This distance right here, right? But we know what that distance is, 12, and so we're going to be able to solve for a. So I think the easier way is just by seeing how it's done. So what we're going to do is plug in x sub 1 first. So what happens when we plug in x sub 1? So keep in mind, the object is going to start from rest, meaning v sub 0 is still going to be 0. So 0 times 1 is just going to be 0 still. So really, the equation is just 1 half uh, at squared. So 1 half times a times t, what is t? t is 1, right? So 1 squared is still 1. So really, x sub 1 is just 1 half a, right? The distance it travels, right, is just 1 half a. So then, let's do x of 2. So 0 times t is still 0, right? Uh, 0 times 2, right? So 0, and then it's going to be 1 half times a. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 1 half is 2. So we know x2 uh, and x1, so this is 1 half a, this is 2a. But what do we know about x2, right? x sub 2 minus x sub 1. What do we know about that? We know that's going to be equal to 12, right? Because this is the distance it travels throughout this part. This is the distance it travels this part, which is going to be this distance, which we know is 12 meters. So x2 minus x1 is 12, right? But we know about this, right? x2 minus x1, 2a which is x sub 2, minus x1 is 1 half a, right? And what does this equal, right? So this is just going to be equal to 2a minus 1 half a. It's just 1.5a, right? So this is just 1.5a. And we know this is equal to the 12, right? 1.5a, right? Because this equals 12, and then we just plug these in. So 1.5a is essentially just going to be equal to 12. And if we divide by 1.5, that's going to allow us to solve for the acceleration, right? So 12 divided by 1.5 is just 8. So you're going to get a is equal to 8. And then the units are going to be meters per second squared, right? That's what we measure acceleration in. And if you look at our answers here, B is going to be one of the options. But yeah, so your answer is going to be B. So that's your answer. And then just think about how we did it, right? So we just basically found uh, the two, right? How long it traveled in two, how long it traveled in one, got that distance, right? But we know what that distance is. And then basically we just solve for it in this equation form, and then we could solve for A. But yeah, so essentially your answer is going to be A, or sorry, your answer is going to be B. But yeah, that's your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.